Thank you, Beth. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'd like to call this meeting to order. If we could uh, start, uh, Father Larry, uh, if you could open the meeting with a prayer. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good evening, everyone. Welcome. Uh, I'm sure all of us Canadians, if you watch the news, you have heard that there is a committee of in, in, a delegation of indigenous people, Canadian indigenous people, who are meeting with Pope Francis off and on all week in Rome. Uh, some wonderful pictures have come through from that event and some wonderful feedback and comments of this historic event, historic moment. There's a lot of groundwork being uh, being done, a lot of good groundwork in terms of reconciliation, etc., healing. So I thought we'd begin with this prayer tonight. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. We give thanks for the delegation of indigenous elders, knowledge keepers, residential school survivors, and bishops who are meeting with Pope Francis this week. May the healing and reconciliation journey be strengthened by the dialogue, the prayerful exchange with our Holy Father. We ask this through Jesus, our Lord and Savior, and through the powerful intercession of Mary, Mother of the Church. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, Father Larry. As we do at each meeting, we'll move on and express our, the land acknowledgement. While it is a well-traveled land, we'd like to respectfully acknowledge that the land on which we gather today is the traditional territory of the Three Fires Confederacy of First Nations, comprised of the Ojibwe, the Odawa, and the Potawatomi people. We are grateful to work, to learn, and to live in this area. Moving on to recording of attendance, all trustees are present and are participating electronically. We'll move the approval of the agenda. There are no amendments this evening, so I'll need a mover and a seconder. Moved by Trustee Polifroni, uh, support by Vice Chair Sulier, that the March 29th, 2022 regular board meeting agenda be approved as distributed. Questions, comments? All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? Anyone opposed? And that carries. Thank you. Are there any disclosures of pecuniary interest pursuant to the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act? Any disclosures of pecuniary interest by anyone this evening? None are noted. Thank you. We have no presentations or delegations registered, so we'll move on to item nine, the action items. And 9A are the minutes of the special committee of the whole board meeting of February the 8th, 2022. A mover and a seconder is required. Moved by Trustee Bouchard, supported by Trustee Heath. That the minutes of the committee of the whole board and camera meeting of February 8th, 2022 be adopted as distributed. Questions or comments? All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? Anyone opposed? And that carries. Next, we have the minutes of the regular board meeting of February 22nd, 2022. Uh, once again, a mover and a seconder. Moved by... Trustee Alexander, support by Vice Chair Sulier, that the minutes of the regular board meeting of February 22nd, 2022 be adopted as distributed. Questions, comments? All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? Anyone opposed? And that carries. 9B, items from the Committee of the Whole Board and camera meeting of March 29th, 2022. Vice Chair Sulier. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The Windsor Essex Catholic District School Board convened the Committee of the Whole Board in camera meeting on March 29, 2022, pursuant to the Education Act, Section 207, to consider specific personnel, people with security of the property of the board, real property, and other matters permitted 
are required to be kept private and confidential under the Municipal Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act. From tonight's in-camera meeting, I move that the board receive an, as information the discussion exempt from access under security of the property of the board matters, item 10B. I'll need a seconder for that. It's been moved, supported by Trustee Bouchard. Questions, comments, all in favor? And that carries, thank you. I move that the board approve the recommendation exempt from access under the security of the property of the board matters, matters item 10, 10C. Support, I'll need support for that. From one of the trustees, trustee Mary Heath, thank you. Questions, comments? All in favor, is there anyone opposed? And that carries. And finally, I move that the board receive as information the discussion exempt from access under property matters, item 11A. I'll need a supporter for that. Support by, I'm not seeing anybody on my screen here. Okay, Trustee Bouchard, thank you. Questions, comments, been moved and supported. All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? And that carries, thank you. Moving on to communications. There are no external communications and under internal reports from administration, uh, nine, or 10B1 is the appointment of student trustees for the next school year. I'll need a mover and a seconder. Moved by Vice Chair Sulier, support by Trustee Polifroni. That the board receive as information the appointment of Adrian Yonan from St. Joseph's Catholic High School and Maya McHale from Assumption College Catholic High School as a student trustees for 2022-2023 school year. Questions, comments? Student trustee Malat, you had a question or comment? I just want to say congratulations to our friends. Uh, we got to meet them both and they're wonderful. We wish them luck. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? And that carries. Thank you. Next, we have under 10B2, the report uh, for the 2021-2022 second quarter procurement report. A mover and a seconder is required. Moved by Trustee Heath, supported by Trustee Master Matei, that the 2021-2022 second quarter procurement report be received as information. All in favor? Anyone opposed? And that carries, thank you. 10B3 is the 2022-23 Budget Consultation Survey. Moved by Trustee Bouchard, supported by Trustee Alexander, that the report on the 2022-2023 Budget Consultation Survey be received as information. Questions or comments? All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? And that carries, thank you. 10B4 is the 2022-23 budget development pressures and challenges. I'll need a mover and a seconder. It's been moved by, thank you, Trustee Polifroni and support of Alexander that the report on the 2022-23 budget development pressures and challenges be received as information. Questions, comments? All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? And that carries. So we'll move on to the committee reports. And 11A is the Parent Involvement Committee Executive Minutes of January 12, 2022. Mover and a seconder for that. Moved by Trustee Domena, support by Trustee Bouchard, that the board receive the minutes of the Parent Involvement Committee, which is the PIC Committee Executive Meeting held 
on January 12, 2022 to be received as information. Questions, comments, all in favor? Is there anyone opposed? And that carries. The next report is the French Immersion Advisory Committee minutes of January 13th, 2022 meeting. Mover and a seconder. Trustee Heath moves it. Support by Trustee Alexander. That the board received the minutes of the January 13th, 2022 French Immersion Advisory Committee meeting as information. Questions or comments? All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? That carries. And the final report is the Indigenous Education Advisory Committee minutes of the December 1st, 2021 meeting. Mover and a seconder, moved by Trustee Domena, supported by Trustee Polifroni, that the board receive the minutes of the December 1st, 2021 Indigenous Education Advisory Committee meeting as information. Questions or comments? All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? And that carries. We have no unfinished business, so we'll move on to new business, item 13. And 13A is the draft amended policy A21 regarding child care here for final approval. A mover and a seconder. Moved by Trustee Heath, supported by Trustee Domena that the board provide the final approval to the draft amended policy A21 child care and that the board receive as information draft amended administrative procedure PR A21 regarding child care. Questions, comments? All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? And that carries, thank you. Next, we have the draft amended policy ST19 school dress codes here for approval in principle. A mover and a seconder. Moved by Vice Chair Sulier, supported by Trustee. Master Matty. I'm sorry? Master Matty. Master Matty, I lost you on my screen there. I know that, sir. You're back. Okay, thank you. That the board approve, in principle, the draft amendment policy ST19 school address goes. Questions, comments? All in favor? Anyone opposed? And that carries. Thank you. And the next report is draft amended policy T08, use of board resources by board of trustees seeking re-election. A mover and a seconder. Moved by Trustee Domena, supported by Trustee Sulier, Vice Chair Sulier, that the board approve in principle the draft amended policy two, I'm sorry, T08, use of board resources by Board of Trustees seeking re-election. Questions or comments? All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? And that carries. And 13D is a report on trustee determination and distribution for elections. I'll need a mover and a seconder. Moved by Trustee Master Matei, supported by Vice Chair Sulier, that for the purposes of the 2022 election, the Windsor Essex Catholic District School Board not designate any municipality within the board's area of jurisdiction as a low population municipality and that for the purposes of the 2022 election the determination and distribution of members elected to the board will remain as follows in the city of windsor wards one and ten one trustee wards two and nine one trustee wards three and four one trustee wards five and eight one trustee and wards six and seven one trustee in the County of Essex, Area 1, which is Amherstburg, LaSalle, one trustee. In the County of Essex, Area 2, Kings, which includes Essex, Kingsville, Peely Township, and Leamington, one trustee. And in the County of Essex, Area 3, which is the town of Lakeshore, one trustee. 
And finally, area four in the County of Essex, which includes Tecumseh, represented by one trustee. And that the completed determination and distribution report be submitted to the Minister of Education, the school board, election clerk, and all municipalities within the board's jurisdiction, and the secretary of all other school boards in the board's jurisdiction by April 3rd, 2022, in accordance with Ontario Regulation 41200, elections to and representation on district school boards made under the Education Act. Any questions on that? So really, we're going to maintain the staying breakdown and distribution of uh, trustees. Questions, comments? All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? And that carries. Thank you. The next report is the tender approval for St. Joseph's Catholic Elementary School building upgrades phase two. Again, I'll need a mover and a seconder for that. Moved by Trustee Heath, supported by Trustee Domena, that approval be given to the award of tender and the issuance of a purchase order contract for building upgrades at St. Joseph Catholic Elementary School phase two to be given to Sterling Ridge General Contracting in the amount of $1,830,814 plus HST. Questions, comments? All in favor? Is there anyone opposed? And that carries. The next report is for a standing officer, I'm sorry, standing offer, RFSO number 1903 for approval of roof restorations at St. William and Holy Cross Catholic Elementary Schools and St. Thomas of Villanova Catholic Secondary School. I'll need a mover and a seconder to get that roof work on. Trustee Master Matty moves it, supported by Trustee Bouchard, that approval be given to the award of project and the issuance of multiple purchase order contracts for roof restorations at St. William and Holy Cross Catholic Elementary Schools in the amount of $1,165,540 plus HST to be awarded to Accent Roofing and Siding and St. Thomas of Villanova Catholic Secondary School in the amount of $691,500 to Roth Roofing Limited, all to be funded from the approved 2021-22 school conditioning improvement budget. Questions or comments on that? If not, all in favor? Anyone opposed? And that carries. That brings us to notices of motion. Are there any notices of motion being brought forward by any of the trustees? There are none. So under remarks and announcements, as you know, the Ontario Catholic School Trustees Association, the 92nd Annual General Meeting and Conference is scheduled for April 22nd and 23rd. This year's theme is Communities of Faith and Resilience. Trustees from across the province will participate in two of the following workshops, Equity and Human Rights, Overview for School Board Leaders, Strategies to Address Anti-Black Racism and Promoting a Culture of Inclusion, Truth and Reconciliation, and Moving to Action, and lastly, School Attendance Boundaries for Conducting School Boundary Reviews. As I mentioned, uh, Trustee, I believe it's uh, Trustee Bouchard and myself will be attending that conference. Since we will not meet again publicly until Easter, I want to take this opportunity to wish all the trustees, to administration and staff, a blessed Holy Week and a happy Easter. Thank you. Madam Director, remarks or announcements? Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Chair Valentinus. Thank you. So looking back on our successes, as trustees know, our theme for this school year has been building relationships. And each month we ask our Catholic schools to submit photos and video footage to demonstrate how we've been building relationships with students, families, our parishes, and our communities. Some of the highlights in this month's video include 
excerpts from a video created by students in the Life Skills Creative Arts Program at Cardinal Carter Secondary School, messages of kindness sent by students at H.J. Lasseline to area seniors, students and staff wearing their pink shirts for Bullying Awareness Day, students and staff wearing blue and gold to show their support for Ukraine, as well as aid packages collected by the St. Louis Catholic community and a joint effort between St. Thomas of Villanova and Assumption to support the victims of invasion. Students at St. Pius who collected items for the homeless as a Lent initiative, a clip from CTV News of kindergarten students at St. Gabriel who collected items for the Ronald McDonald House, some pictures of Christ the King custodian Joe Plant doing his part to help out some students, the Rock Your Socks efforts for World Down Syndrome Day, and students from Stella Mara singing their Lenten song for the morning announcements. This time, Stephen Fields, if you can show the video clip. Thank you. Stay a while when you're moving and a grooving, you just can't deny. What's your name? They call me Ma. They call me Ma. They call me Ma. They took up a challenge to help the Ronald McDonald House within the hospital. The charity provided the school with a wish list of things they need daily. Everything from personal hygiene items to snacks to help families stay close while their children are sick in hospital. And the kids came through filling an entire SUV with donations. Congratulations to the Kinders at St. Gabe's. Thanks to everyone for submitting material for the video and to Paul DeMarco for putting it all together. And then looking ahead on behalf of administration, we thank our teachers, our staff for their Lenten and Holy Week activities leading to this year's Easter celebration. And we wish everyone a blessed and holy Easter. Thank you.
Thank you, uh, Director Bernie, and uh, thank you to everyone involved uh, in putting that video together and those acts of kindness and, and building relationships. Uh, the students may have been wearing masks, but you can see the joy, the enthusiasm it showed through their eyes and uh, wonderful work, everyone. Thank you. Father Larry, remarks you. Announcements. Excuse me, excuse me for jumping in too swift there, Mr. Valentinus. Thank you. I just want to echo the, the, the beautiful uh, uh, video we saw there. And, you know, the inspiration comes, I'm sure, from the, our, our, our staff, the teachers at the head of the classroom, inspiring those students to do what they do for the poor in our area, for the Ukrainian uh, people that our hearts go out to. So I just encourage all of us, you know, Lent is coming. It's, it's really going to go by fast, isn't it? You only got three more weeks. Three more weeks from last Sunday is Easter Sunday. So, you know, there's still time to get get involved in our Lenten, uh, what are they, prayer, almsgiving, fasting, uh, and, and even if we don't have to do all three, but pick one out, you know, and get involved in one of those. So that, again, as we approach, I don't have to tell you this, but I'll say it again. Easter is the climax of Christ coming is suffering dying and rising that's our salvation that's how we find we get to heaven is through jesus who is the way the truth and the life so you know just work on your relationship with jesus with christ and and if possible get back to get back to the eucharist this uh these holy week and holy thursday and Easter Sunday, where we receive the risen Lord, the risen Savior, Jesus himself in Holy Communion. What a privilege we Catholics have. So I join, <clears throat> I join our director and our chairman and wishing all of you a happy Easter. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Father Larry. Trustee Alexander, Thank you. Uh, happy Easter, everyone. Thanks. Thank you, Trustee Alexander. Trustee Bouchard. Yeah, I just wanted to congratulate our newly appointed student trustees for the next school year, Adrian and Maya. Uh, I have no doubt that our current student trustees, Jada and Gina, will do a fantastic job mentoring them. And I'd also like to wish everybody a very happy Easter. Thank you, Trustee Bouchard. Trustee Master Matei. Uh, yes, I, I like to wish everyone a happy Easter. I also like to congratulate Fields and DeMarco. What they accomplished for me is at the end of the meeting, I feel darn good being associated with the Windsor Essex Catholic District School Board. Thanks very much. Very well put, Trustee Master Matei. Thank you. Trustee Polifroni. I'd like to wish everybody a happy and blessed Easter. Um, continued prayers for all of our safety uh, within the school board and the community, the world, of course. And I also like to send out prayers for world peace at this time. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Polifroni. Trustee He. Thank you. Uh, Trustee Master Matei took the words out of my mouth. It's, uh, it's a great joy to serve this board and uh, great things are happening here and we look forward to the rest of the school year for more great and wonderful things. And uh, I also wish everyone a wonderful, holy, happy Easter. Thank you, Trustee He. Trustee Dumena. Uh, Dr. Barry Craig, president of Huron University College, went in person to, su su to surprise a young lady at Cardinal Carter, Ella DeRocher, offering her a scholarship of $100,000 from Helmut, uh, Helmut Scholarship. The video I watched on YouTube was outstanding. It just showed how surprised she was on her face and how she didn't expect it. It was a total surprise. And I certainly uh, want to... Uh, Congratulate her and her family with her uh, over her wonderful achievement. Um, it, it's really nice to see one of our students excel 
this way. And I also was very pleased with the comments she made in the video, how welcoming Cardinal Carter students were and the staff, the whole community, because she was a, a new student there. So that's really nice to hear. And I'm very, very proud of our, our community that, down there, Cardinal Carter, thank you. Thank you, Trustee Domeno. Trustee D. Tomas. Oh, by the way, I want to wish everybody a happy Easter and please take a nice rest over the four days. Thank you. Trustee Di Tomaso. Yes, I want to thank everybody for sharing this excellent video, how great it was produced. And uh, I wish everybody a happy Easter. Thank you, Trustee Di Tomaso. Vice Chair Sulier. Happy, happy Easter, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Vice Chair Sulier. Student Trustee Jada Malat. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I do have the first set of our Student Senate report for this month. And I'd also like to echo everyone else. That video is amazing. So St. Pius's collection of sleeping bags uh, was run by one of the daughters at of one of my teachers at my school, Mr. Mershback. And I know that he's very proud of his daughter for everything that he's a very inspiring teacher. So everything that he inspires his daughter to do, I'm sure he's very proud. And I will have Father Larry know that on Rockier Socks Day, I did come to school wearing knee high Mitch Marner socks. So I got roasted by a couple of teachers for doing that, especially my vice principal, Mr. Kittle, who is a huge <laughs> Montreal fan. So that was a risky move on my part. Um, so to our student Senate report, I did also um, want to add, we did do something else in our schools this month related to social justice, and that was Tampon Tuesday. So Tampon Tuesday is a partnered event with the United Way and the Windsor and District Labor Council. It was on March 8th this year on International Women's Day. And for the past four years, I've been bringing the challenge into the high schools. This year, we had 16 high schools participating across Windsor, Essex. And I'm very proud to announce that we have collected with the monetary donations included over 2,800 boxes of menstrual hygiene products for women and other menstruators in our city. St. Joe's won the challenge, so they collected 741 boxes, and St. Anne's came in second place with 637 boxes, and Bell River came in third place with 408 boxes. So I would like to thank Gina, of course, and student trustees Paige Hawkins and Malek McCowey from the Public School Board for all of their eagerness to help me organize this coterminous initiative between our school boards. They are absolute rock stars. I would also like to thank CUPE Local 82 Women's Committee for donating the $1,000 prize for our winning schools to donate back to an organization of choice. So St. Joe's has chosen to donate that $1,000 to the Black Women of Forward Action Group. They are a nonprofit organization based in Windsor, and they provide a safe space for Black women, men, and students to discuss mental health, racism, and activism. Thank you so much to each and every student and student leader and student council and campus minister that participated in organizing, advertising, and donating to TAMP on Tuesday. Because of the stigma and the taboo that surrounds menstruation, a lot of us might not know who may be in need of these products. But that discussion is what has opened the eyes of a lot of my peers. Tampon Tuesday is helping us recognize that, yes, we are stepping outside of our comfort zones and addressing something that maybe we don't want to address. But addressing this issue of period poverty, we do this for our moms and for our sisters and our aunts, our girlfriends, and our best friends, any person in the community who may be struggling to access those products. And to me, that is the definition of leadership. You know, stepping outside of your comfort zone and addressing something that you don't think you might have wanted to address, especially in our high schools with adolescents. You know, it's hard, but we did it. And we have so many amazing leaders in all of our schools. And I'm going to start crying. Um, I started this challenge in grade nine with only two schools, with me and my best friend, Mira Gillis. It was just St. Joe's and just Brennan. And I never, ever would have believed that in three years and in my last year of high school, we would have expanded this by over 800% and contributed to almost half of what the United Way collected for Tampon Tuesday this year. So thank you so much to everybody who supported and spreaded the word. I'm very, very proud student of our Catholic school board this month. 
Um, also, on March 3rd, we had our annual Student Senate Retreat Day, and this was virtual. So there's eight students that were elected as the student senator of their school for the 2022-23 school year, and they came together for a day of faith and collaboration. These students participated in multiple leadership enhancing activities, and after getting to know one another, a vote was conducted to determine the student trustees for the next school year. So Adrian Yunin of St. Joseph's and Maya McHale of Assumption were selected for this position. Gina and I were very, very impressed by the group of future senators, and I believe that all of them have potential to do amazing things for the Windsor-Essex Catholic District School Board and hopefully expand Tampon Tuesday even further. Um, Gina and I are also very proud to report that Faith Day was a huge success. There were 150 students who participated virtually on February 23rd, and we came together to focus on leadership, advocacy, and our faith. So we had an open panel and we had some breakout room activities and students were able to learn about the initiative that we chose, which was actions in Catholic service uplifting our youth. The feedback from students and teachers has been nothing but positive. And we would like to thank Ms. Brush, Mr. Ibrahim, Mr. Haggart, and all of the guest speakers, teacher advisors and campus ministers. And of course, all of the students for help making our afternoon so engaging and so enjoyable. We could have not done it without everybody's consistent efforts and Gina and I are very excited to support student councils as they discuss ways they can continue to help uplift uplift our peers within our community and that concludes my half of the report thank you so much well thank you very much uh, student trustee uh, Malat uh, I, I I know your, your your passion and enthusiasm and leadership uh, has certainly borne fruit and uh, congratulations to you and uh, your fellow students Student Trustee Gina Tuma. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I do have the second half of our student Senate reports, not as long as Jada's, but um, all of our high schools supported those with Down syndrome this past week by rocking their crazy socks to support World Down Syndrome Day. The week before March break, Assumption students worked together to collect money to support Ukraine. The small population not only reached their goal, but collected over $4,000. The money was matched and donated through the Canadian government. As well, the school made for International Women's Day, the school made a $200 donation to the hiatus house. Catholic Central students were busy making bracelets for the Fight Like Mason Foundation. The bracelets were donated at the end of February. To celebrate International Women's Day, the school shared quotes from influential women and highlighted important, important women in their own school community. Cardinal Carter is very excited as they recently had their first pep rally since March 2020. The school joined together in their auditorium for a day of celebrations. Additionally, their student councils and campus ministers are busy preparing for their Easter celebrations. Brennan hosted a yellow and blue dress down day to show their support for Ukraine. The dress down day cost students $2 and the collections were donated through Development and Peace to aid Ukrainian citizens. The school's also hosting a can drive during Lent where they are collecting non-perishable goods until April 14th. St. Joe's students participated in their annual spirit week before the March break. This past week, the school had their first in-person meeting mass with the lifting of restrictions. The mass was also live streamed. And finally, St. Anne's showed their support for Ukraine by hosting a yellow and blue dress down day. The proceeds were donated to the Red Cross. Before the March break, the school celebrated by having a St. Patrick's Day dress down where students wore green and participated in activities such as karaoke. That concludes my report and I hope everyone has a great Easter and are able to spend some time outside and with their families. Thank you. Thank you, uh, student trustee uh, Tuma. Um, you know, the enthusiasm that you and Jada have, have br continuously bring to this board uh, is really heartwarming and, and inspirational. And the work uh, that you're reporting on that our students are doing in their respective schools and in their respective communities um, is, is really, as I said, uh, it, it's, it's very, very, very heartwarming to say, to say the least. So uh, congratulations and thank you. There are no pending items uh, on the agenda. So our future regular board meeting, which uh, will be next, not next, but it'll be Tuesday, April the 26th, 2022.
There is no need to adjourn in camera. So if I can call on Father Larry to please close the meeting with a prayer. Father. Thank you, Mr. Valentinus, <clears throat> our wonderful executive secretary, um, Beth has provided these names. Uh, the Strickland family from Holy Name High School, these are the bereavements, the, the prayer that will lead us into a prayer for those who have passed. Strickland family from Holy Name High School, the brother of Ben Arsenault and the father-in-law of Mike St. Pierre. And I'm sure all of us would like to add a prayer for that Lyons family, for the deceased mother, tragically murdered, and uh, especially for those three children of theirs, young children. And we pray, we pray that they will find the loving support and care that they need to grow up and to develop as God intends them to develop. And to that end, let's uh, pray for those, those who have died and uh, the children surviving as we invite our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Anne, you're the grandmother of Jesus. From your place in heaven as grandmother, pray for us and especially for those three orphan children. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Larry. This meeting is now adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Good evening.